Yo, Tripolar Bear here. We're going to talk about how you can make tons of money sitting in your hideout like some degen rolling sextants on watchstones. We're going to talk about how much I made from rolling all these nemesis and beyond watchstones, what the cost uh, that I had going into. I've got this huge spreadsheet here with all this information, the sextant weightings, uh, you know, the cost and everything. We're going to go over it all. But first, we're going to talk about how to set this up. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to set the sextants up, how I do it. I'm going to have the trade links in the Google Sheet, the Google Sheet down in the description if you want to yoink it. And if you are yoinking it, make sure you subscribe. Okay, but here we go. How you set this up and the gist of what this strategy is, in case you don't already know, is we're rolling sextants on unique watchstones and selling them to other people because they don't want to roll the sextants and that's where we come in and that's where we get to make a little bit of money, right? If someone doesn't want to do something, then when you sell that as a service, you get to charge them, uh, you know, whatever the going rate is because they don't want to do it. So you get to charge them, you know, something so they don't have the convenience of not having to do it, right? Uh, and in this example, and there's lots of circumstances like this in Path of Exile, in this example, it's rolling sextants. So the best way to roll sextants is on unique watchstones so they can put you put anywhere for any strategy, right? You, you can't roll them on normal, uh, uh, you know, titanium or whatever because this is only for Haywork. So we do unique watchstones. In the unique watchstones, uh, I like to grab the cheapest ones. We'll talk about those later. But an example right now is Territories Unknown. And how you set this up is you grab uh, on your watchstones. And I like to have three that are in the same region. And I just put them right up here. Uh, you put on these watchstones players and monsters uh, take increase whatever it is and then areas contain eight additional packs and you do this because when you go to path of exile database website that you know has data mined all the weightings and whatnot you see it has a default weighting of 1000 and that means it's very likely to hit that and the gist of this is we're going for the 250 or even the 100 weighting right very very difficult if you've ever looked at items uh, you know, if it has a low weighting, it's going to be really hard to hit. So Sacred Grove is worth a lot, right? A free harvest. This is worth a lot of money. It has a weighting of 100, so it's very difficult to hit. But the thing with this is, if you have three sextants, like here, you can't hit those, right? If I'm rolling on this unique washstone, I cannot hit the fire monster packs. So this is very valuable because we get to block three of the very likely to happen, the 1,000 waiting things. So you just do, it's the eight packs, right? Area contains eight additional packs. If you want, you can go to the PUE DB uh, and search for yourself, but right, the Chaos Monsters, Fizz, Lightning. Uh, there's a couple more that are at the 1,000. The Magic maps contain Magic Packs. Normal contain Normal, Rare contain Rare. Uh, and then, you know, the Reflect one is 1,000. There's a couple of these like that, but pretty much any of the uh, normal area contains eight the shrines are all uh also a thousand uh the thing you have to be careful of is players gain a vol soul on kill this is a 500 weighting uh this one is 250 so you don't want any of these right you want to make sure you block the thousand but okay you have your blocks here we're blocking you've bought some unique watch stones now you need to make sure you have the sextant modifiers have one additional use so that you have four uses on each sextant right that's huge. Nobody is going to buy yours if you only have three. You have to have four. So you need to have the middle Atlas passive unlocked. Now, let's go into rolling it. Now, I don't recommend you to do this until you have a lot of money. Uh, and you need a lot of money so that you don't get unlucky, right? Because, as I said before, we're going for very low waiting things. And so you're going to sit here. You're going to roll. You're going to roll until you hit something good. And I have these in the Google Sheet. And this is what we're going to talk about next. But Legion is something that I would stop on. I can sell Legion. People are buying these for the uh, Legion region uh, strategy where you go here, you have generals, you do gilded uh, gilded Legion scarabs, then you do this and on the map device to get a bunch of Legions in your map, right? So this is one that I would stop on and sell. So let's talk about the sextant weightings, how much money I've made doing this, how much exactly you'd maybe want going in uh, and all that, etc., etc. So I have this, <laughs> I've been working on this big Google sheet. Uh, we have the total weighting of all sextant mods, which I've added up and you can see uh, on sheet three. 
Uh, the colors are going to be different when I hand it to you. I have a dark mode, whatever, so just ignore, you know, flashbang and whatnot. Uh, but, the, you know, I've added all the total weightings up, and it comes out to 18,975. Since we're blocking three of the 1,000 weighting mods, that means there's a leftover weighting sum of 15,975. So from that 15,975, the good ones, right? Nemesis, uh, Monsters Dropping Corrupted Items, Strongbox and Rage, Two Abyss, Beyond, Legion, Mirror of Delirium, Sacred Grove, and The Ritual, and Elva. Uh, I think Elva can sell. If it doesn't, then whatever. You'll just roll over that later anyway. Um, but I've added all of these weightings up, and that weighting is 1,925. Uh, also, if you want, you can make a copy of this Google Sheet. I, I forgot to mention that, but just make a copy, okay? Do not spam me for access. Make your own copy. Uh, it's really easy. Right up here. Make a copy. There you go. Then you can fudge with the numbers, whatever you want. Uh, so here we go. The average sextance before you hit a good one is going to be 8.2. All right. Uh, I have added the value in chaos of each of these sextants. And the average value is going to be 90 chaos for each of these sextants. Uh, the total value, you know, for all of them are about 895. You know, that's just so I could math it all out. Uh, so the average value of one blocked sextant, right? Uh, the average value of you using each and every one of your sextants is actually, <laughs> it's 10 chaos, right? 10.7 chaos is the average value of one sextant you use on a watchstone that's blocked by three, right? This is what this means. So... Every time I use a sextant here, I'm getting an average value out of it of 10 chaos, which is very, very nice. Uh, but, you know, that's not the uh, average profit that we are uh, expecting to hit and whatnot. Uh, but here we go. The cost of the watchstone, I've averaged to about 35. Here are the watchstones here, the trade links. Booming populace, uh, you know, this is a really good one that you can use. The thing is, it's like... <laughs> it's an assault, so uh, it's probably not too good for most people to do. I don't really recommend you doing Booming Populace. Uh, stick to War Among the Stars, uh, Territories Unknown, Stalwart, Irresistible Temptation, uh, you know, Terror. These are all 30, 30, 25, 20 C each, uh, something like this. They're very, very cheap. I've averaged, and this is what I came out to buying Watchstones for. I just did it at 35 Chaos each. Uh, I bought my Sextants at about 3.5 Chaos each. And so the total cost for every rolled watchstone that you roll out is going to be 64 chaos, right? Because it takes an average of 8.3 uh, sextants until you hit a good one, and you have to buy the watchstone for 35 chaos. So the total cost is going to be 64. Now, the average profit of a good sextant hit is going to be 25 chaos. Uh, chaos here, which is very, very nice, right? So every time you hit a good one, you should expect to hit about 25 chaos profit on average, right? Uh, and this was taken by, uh, you know, subtracting all this math and whatnot in the Google Sheet. All right, you can check it all out. Uh, anyway, let's get into actual real world example. Uh, so I bought five war among us, six terror, uh, six territories unknown, and I bulk bought 23 irresistible temptations off of one person. Uh, which was very, very nice. <laughs> it saved a couple trades. Uh, and that's what I recommend doing. Click the trade links and look for people who have multiple listings. See if you can buy a couple at the same time. Otherwise, just spam out some trade links. Uh, so the total number of stones uh, right here. Now, the price I have here as well, right? I paid 35 for War Among Us, 24, 30, 34. And then this is the total price. Uh, so in total, uh, I got 435 Awakened Sextants as well. I paid 3.57, so it came out to about 1,500 chaos. And so the total cost of everything here was 2,800 chaos. So I put in 19.4x into this, and this is what's important, right? You don't want to start this with 2x. You don't want to put all your money into Awakened Sextants, not hit anything, get unlucky, uh, and then you lost all your money, right? You want to make sure you have a pretty nice amount of cash there to invest into this. And to flip for some nice potential money, uh, you know, excluding any unlucky streaks, which shouldn't happen once you put enough in, uh, you know, on average, or whatever, right? You could still get crazy unlucky, but generally you won't get unlucky with this much money. Uh, so here is what I got. Uh, you can see them in my stash tab here, but I put them in the Google Sheet as well. 
Uh, I got all of these Nemesis. I got all these Beyond. Uh, I started organizing them as well so that I could use them. Uh, you know, I got the unique monsters, drop corrupted items, some Abyss, Sacred Grove. I sold two Delhi Mirrors off. I sold my Legions already. I have some Elvas here. I have some strong box monsters. Uh, but I got six Nemesis, right? I got all of these here. This is very, very nice. Uh, the raw value that I obtained from rolling all these watchstones was 3,480 chaos, which is really nice, right? Uh, I made a profit of 646, so about 4.4x profit. Uh, that's pretty good. The thing is, uh, my expected profit should be much higher, and I've documented this to the right here. So the expected outcomes, you know, based on the weighting, the value of the sextant. Uh, so I should have gotten about 6.8 Nemesis. So, right, like maybe it should have been 7, but I got 6. That's about expected. Unique Monsters was supposed to be about 6.8 more towards seven, so a little unlucky there. Uh, and you can see I have the total expected chaos, uh, and then I have a total loss to luck. So let's look at that. So being a little unlucky on Nemesis, I lost 100 chaos here. I lost 90 chaos from the unique monsters dropping corrupted uh, items. I lost 70 from a Rage Strong box. I lost another 160 from Abyss, right? I got pretty unlucky there. Uh, my Beyond, I actually gained 70 Chaos. I got a little lucky on Beyond, which is pretty nice. My Legion, I lost 90. Delhi Mirror, I lost 60. I, I got pretty unlucky with the Sacred Grove, even with this uh, amount of Sextants and whatnot. I was supposed to hit 2.7, leaning more towards 3. I, I did hit 1, so at least it wasn't 0. But I lost 300 Chaos by having a small deviation of luck. Uh, Ritual, I lost 86. And then Elva, I got a little lucky, so <laughs> I made like 30 Chaos. Uh, the thing is... The total raw expected chaos is supposed to be 4,452. And so my profit, expected profit, based on average luck, is supposed to be somewhere around 1,600 chaos, which was going to be 11 exalts profit. So you can see a large difference here, right? I only really made 4.4. I was supposed to make 11. So even with 20x in, there's a little bit of deviation there, right? I did get unlucky. But even when I'm unlucky, I still made 4x, right? Um, I just wouldn't want you to come into this, get a little unlucky, and make nothing, right? Even with 20 in, I came out with 24. That's still pretty nice. Uh, and I plan on using these for NEM3 farming anyway. So it's kind of just like me saving money. Sometimes, you know, you save a little more. So in this scenario, I, uh, I saved a little less. Uh, so I lost 6 exalts to luck. Uh, and that's just going to happen, uh, you know. When we're talking about 100 weightings out of 15,000, uh, you know, it, you're, when we're doing 400 sextants, you're not really uh, going to always luck into the average or whatever. You know, uh, it, it's hard when there's small weightings uh, versus large weightings, uh, even when you're doing hundreds and hundreds. Anyway, I think this is <laughs> I think this is a really good money making strategy. I think this is great for people who just want to chill in their hideout. Uh, maybe you need like an off day. Maybe you just want to bulk roll a bunch of these uh, and save money for your delirium farming, whether it's Nemesis 3, Mirrors, or etc. cetera. Uh, you know, you, get, you do get a lot. And if you are okay uh, with spending a little more time, you can get a lot of Jun missions, Elva missions, Zana. Uh, I rolled over a lot of these, but these are things that you can save for yourself. Uh, and keep in mind, it's got 18 uses here, right? If I, if nobody buys these, I can use four Elvas. I've still got 14 uses on the Watchstone, right? Uh, the thing with these are, the Watchstone price that you're paying as well, if you're using these and if you're rolling these Sextants on your own Watchstones, I don't have to buy another set of Watchstones for the next three times, which saves me so much money. It's actually insane. Uh, I will go through and document whatever, uh, you know, I saved, uh, probably I actually kind of want to do it right now. Uh, but like, that is something to keep in mind, right? The, the watchstone cost is completely taken out. Once you go through all of these, use all of them, uh, and then start rolling again, right? Cause now you don't have to, uh, so let's see here. We have the sum here, uh, 1,281, right? I get to save myself 1,281 chaos the next time I do this, right? That's huge. That's huge. Uh, so if we just take this here, uh, you know, we, we take boom, you know, equals 
uh, plus this, plus 1,280 chaos, uh, right? The next time I roll these, if I have the same amount of look, I'll get an extra huge, huge amount out of it, right? I get an extra 1,200 chaos. Uh, that is really, really cool, right? Getting this amount back is wild. Uh, for what is practically free, right? Uh, I'm going to save myself 8.8x the next time I roll these. And I think now that you've made it this far to the video, first of all, God bless you. Second of all, subscribe, okay? Second of all, subscribe if you made it this far and you're making bank, you're a yoinker, you're in the sheet right now. Uh, but that's where the real value comes, okay? Now that you made it this far, now you get the real value, the real strats. All right, you get to Pepe laugh at all the people in the YouTube comments who just don't understand where the real money is. Oh, only for... Well, next time I'm saving eight, okay? That's huge money. I save 8x the next time I roll all these. And you know what? I will. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one for huge money making. Good luck. Let me know how it goes and let me know how much you make. Exclamation mark poor if you're poor.